but to be remembered as the K we knew and loved. Swimming, hiking through the cabows, meeting at Darrow's after school, and always, always with a smile on her face. Take your dormer. Hi, I want to check something with you. Um, I was going over my report last night, and I have a question about where you think that second shot came from. So you said you heard it from the water line, but from the way Detective Eckhart's body fell, I don't think it could have come from the rocks further up from the water. So do you think it's possible that maybe you heard the shot before you hit the water line? Detective Dormer? Yeah, it's possible. Yeah. Why don't I give her a ride? I thought I smelled something. How you doing, Randy? You still coping? You're that cop. Yeah. Are you coming or not? Not. Oh. Hey. Stick of gum. I love chewing gum. Keeps me awake. I never met anyone from LA before. Not missing much. I like our shithole town. No, oh, it's not bad. Were you good friends with Kay? Yeah, best friends. It's grade school. Oh, that's a long time. Yeah, we're like sisters. Like sisters? Mm -hmm. Must be pretty tough for you what happened now. Hmm? Everyone keeps telling me I'm doing great considering. But they're all real worried about me. They don't even care if I show up to school or not. I'm worried I haven't cried yet. But, you know, law says you gotta cry, right? No, they ain't. <laughs> what about her other friends? Do we have to talk about Kay right now? Think about all that. It's just drive. I understand. You want me to take you somewhere? Sure, as long as it's fun. Young, impressionable girl left alone with older Los Angeles cop. Who knows where we might go, right? Well, I know a place. Hmm. Well, this is drifting. Oh, look at this. Who does he think he is? What's he think he's doing? Hey, move over. Let him move over. Hey, come on, move over. What the fuck are you doing? Move over, you think you fuck? That was a little visit to the dock. Well, you should feel right at home here. You just about come fucking on. killed us both. Talk to me. What the fuck is this? You and Kay were like sisters. Yes, I told you already. Now, how come there's torn pictures of you in her bedroom? Why was her boyfriend's hands clamped all over your ass at her funeral? Randy Stetson didn't have an alibi for Friday night because he was out with you. You were out fucking your best friend's boyfriend. Is that what best friends do? Look, she never really loved Randy, okay? She didn't really love him? No. That's interesting. How do you figure that? She has someone else? Someone bought her dresses, jewelry, all that shit. Hey, look around. Here, I want to show you something, see? Now you'll understand why I brought you. This is the spot where your best friend's naked body was dumped. Wrapped up in garbage bags! Tanya, I know you don't want anyone knowing that you betrayed your best friend with Randy. <laughs> That's why you will not give him an alibi for Friday night. I know that. Now you tell me who Kay was seeing. We could forget the whole thing. Maybe our little secret. Our little secret. But I need a name. I need a name. I don't know. She wouldn't tell me, okay? She wouldn't tell you? Maybe she wouldn't tell you her best friend. It was her big fucking secret. Secret? Why secret? I don't... Because she thought she was special and... She kept saying she was going to get out of here and he was going to help her. Who, who, who is he? I don't know. She talked about him. Yeah. She talked to you about him. Yeah. And then when she talked about him, what'd she call him? 
She called him something, right? She was talking yes. about Yes! Why? What'd she call him? <laughs> okay, she called him fucking Brody, but that's not his real name, so it's a fucking difference! Jesus, you have it out, you fucking asshole! Okay. You did good, honey. Come on. I'll let you drive. You want to drive?